Today's tout gimmick is what I call the five S's. Small sample size streak sizzle. So the biggest weapon in a tout's arsenal is small sample size streak sizzle. They take small sample size streaks that they're on and run with it. Now let me tell you this as someone who works with numbers as a living, a statistically significant sample size is minimum 400. That's when the margin of error gets low enough to where you can use it. But how many touts do you see advertising a sample size of 400? None of them. That's because touts are not long-term winners, so they have to cherry pick their short-term hot streaks to make it look like they're long-term winners. And touts will admit this privately. They will say, it's easier to get people to buy your picks when you advertise that you're 15 and five over the last 20 plays than advertising that you're hitting 54%. And while that might be true, because touts are all about sales and marketing, it's still dishonest because you're not getting the whole picture. It's arbitrary start and end point streaks that they use. So a tout will say, for example, I'm 13 and four over my last 17, but here's the problem with that. Why stop at 17? Why don't you stop at 16? Why don't you stop at 18? Why was play 17 relevant, but not play 18? It's arbitrary start and end points. For a trend to matter, the start and end points cannot be arbitrary. They have to be based on some sort of mathematical or statistical principle. So when you're cherry picking the start and end points, you're not getting the whole picture. You know, a tout might be 50 and 60 over the last 110 plays, but in the middle of that, they had a 14 and four run over 18 plays. So a victim will jump on that and be like, oh, 14 and four, this guy must know what he's doing and they'll jump in on it and then they'll get that run that's not 14 and four after buying in and they're like, crap, where did that hot streak go? It's because it was a short sample size. It's an outlier, it's statistical noise, it's variance. So hot runs are gonna happen no matter what you do. Cold runs are gonna happen no matter what you do. It's the law of averages. But touts act like these short sample size streaks that they go on are the norm for them and they always happen, which obviously isn't the case and touts will use buckets to always find a streak. A tout can always create a streak no matter what using buckets. I have a video based on buckets and stars and all that, but when you divide your plays up into enough buckets, you're always gonna be on a hot streak no matter what. You're always gonna be able to find a cherry-picked hot streak, period. So no matter who the tout is, they're always gonna be able to show you, I'm doing really well right here, buy my picks. But you're not getting the whole picture. Yes, they might be on a streak here, but their 99 other buckets are not on streaks. You're not getting the whole picture with these small sample size streaks that touts love to advertise to get people to buy their picks. Go to any tout website and that's what you'll see. X tout, 13 and four over last 17. G tout, 10 and one over their last 11 guaranteed plays. Major tout, 12 and two over the last 14 five star triple slam Wednesday night scorcher heater guaranteed lock thousand star play of the month plays, right? You're always gonna be able to find a streak no matter what if you're a tout. It's not hard. So just ignore it. Always ask yourself when you see a streak or a trend being presented, is the sample size big enough? Probably not. Are the start points and end points arbitrary? Probably so. If either one of those two things are true, ignore it. It's not based on reality. But that's the problem. Touts do not have the long-term records to back up their operation because if they actually show their actual long-term records, it would show that they are losers and they can't advertise that so they have to cherry pick in order to make it seem like they're the winners they claim themselves to be. And that's why short sample size streak sizzle is another gimmick that touts use to rope people into their scams.